Hey my friends, it's Alicia Stringer here, always empowering success dreams. Here I am on my blog, and today I want to share some epic information on how to create um, all these video um, creation tools. I've got a whole list of about 17 different ones that I've written down there on my notepad, and I've pulled them all up so I can explain to you what they are and what um, you can use them for. So you kind of are aware of all the resources that I've come across that are pretty cool to make different types of videos, different things for your online marketing or just for fun or to share with other people. So I wanted to give this information to you um, so you can see what I've been using and stuff. All right, so my favorite that I love to do is Stoopflix. I have a personal account in Stuflix. This is, um, you can use a 30 second video for free. They've got all these cool little templates, I want to say, that you can create your video with. And um, we've just loved these templates. They're kind of fun, and um, you can input your own pictures, your own videos and change up the music. There's music inside of it that you they have ready for you to put inside. Um, tons of ways. I think I pay for the whole year and it was like 30 bucks. So it was pretty cheap. I don't know, check your prices though. So um, it, they vary from time to time, have different specials. Um, and I think I have an affiliate link. Um, if I do, I'll leave it in my blog post for you. All right, so here is, um, I don't know, my daughter loves this party one. So we've just love that one a lot um, I don't know so you just we just pick a theme and go for it and if there's not there's there's some they pick for you it's a lot of fun and I kind of go back with Animoto and this one is the same kind of thing it's almost exactly the same and then they have um, different types of themes as well and I think they just added like a baby one or something um, it's pretty cool cute they've got little different um, styles and stuff in there for it um, so Animoto love that one too um, this one is called Prezi and this one is straight for presentations I'm actually not sure this makes into a video but once you have a presentation you can um, put down the slides and it kind of looks like a presentation as it breaks down into different things so it kind of moves on the page to, has little differentiation. I don't know. This is a little different from PowerPoint. So you don't have PowerPoint. I would, you know, test this one to kind of give you some variety in your PowerPoint video presentations that you want to do. Um, so you can watch the video. It's pretty free. Prezi is a lot of fun. The next one is called Photo Snack. And this one is like a slideshow um, video maker. Um, so you just upload your your pictures on there and you, you can choose from their different stylists templates and um, share and embed the photos on there. Um, I'm not sure if it was um, as interactive or anything like um, Stuflix or Animoto. I just haven't tried this out but they've got tons of people using it and some different variety. I think they have them on apps too so you might want to check on your phone and try out these different apps that they have for um, to make a video and stuff as well. So that's Photo Snack. The next one is Mix Book. This one is more like scrapbooking. So you take your video, your pictures, and you make it like a scrapbook, and um, can just have them make it into a scrapbook. And I think they also have it into a um, video. So um, see, I think you can make your scrapbook into a video in there. So um, that's just different ways to make your pictures and stuff to um, make a cool little video. Um, it's probably more for scrapbooks, but I thought that would be an idea for you to be creative, right? All right, so this one is probably the same way. I can't even say this one. It's Kazoa, maybe? Um, a video maker, slideshow creator, and collage builder. So it's more like the scrapbook. Put up several pictures on one kind of page and then you make your little slideshows and edit them and you know make a little cute collage and probably can print them up and everything so that one's um, most of these are free to try you know any of these um, lots of fun to play around alright so then we have uh, movie maker the 
this is like the basic back in the day that I would remember the only thing I could do to make videos so yes you can still do it put in your pictures add in a voice um, edit it you know so it's free uh, make a movie. There are some limitations on the different types of files it uses, I believe. So it's just um, a basic service there for you to edit your videos um, and upload them or change the file, whatever. All right, so that's a basic, very basic one. Um, Roxio is the, kind of the same way as creating a um, just a basic slideshow also like your book to create like a little camouflage and stuff like that um, so you can see that they added some different pictures and the little presentation and how they put that together so you can add your photos personalize it you know add some different text and of course share it so it makes it kind of cute this one's a lot of fun um roxio is what this one's called all right slide roll um this one is used a lot on different websites um for photographers wanting basic gallery pictures on the top of their their um, their site um, so this one's mainly I think used for that you can also to put it into you know a video for your DVD or YouTube's so this one's a very basic um, gallery type of slideshow creator just um, add your photos in there and um, pick a different type of slideshow with different interactions so they got different um, types of slide shares, slideshows that you can create from the slideshow. All right, the next one. What? Can you look at the time on my phone? Oh, uh, we'll fix your watch in a little bit. Let me finish this video. Smile Wait. box. Smile. Wait this. Yeah, you probably have to use that. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I make more slideshows. It's a little interactive. It looks pretty basic to me, though. Um, pretty plain and simple um, so it's got lots of different categories and stuff for that small box this one is photo peach same way you can insert your pictures and create a little basic slideshow and embed them on your your blog or website there um, or download them and even got a little thing for educators to insert those um, teaching videos, you know, you can do this for almost anything. Uh, makes it easy to sign in. All right, we got Pico Vico. This one's a fun one. Same thing, put your pictures. Um, it looks like you can add some music um, or pick a theme, and sometimes these have um, themes or music already inside that's pre-copyrighted, copyrighted. So you can try these different um, themes that they've got here. They've got some samples. Um, inside there. Um, kind of the same thing as Duke Flix or Inamoto um, inside there. Alright, so that's Pico Vico. <laughs> it's kind of fun to say. Go Animate. This one was a little different for me. Now I haven't tried it. I think you do have to cost, it does, this one does cost more. You can, um, pretty cool to test it out for the first five minutes, which most of these you don't want Sometimes you don't want to test it out over 15, 30 seconds. 15 seconds for in Instagram, anyways. 30 seconds for a short commercial, and um, five minutes for a good, you know, presentation, anyways. And so, try this one out. They've got little different testers for you to put in some different things, and I think you can put in your voice or add different props. Um, lip sync is automatic, you know, when they put that in. It's kind of fun. Um, so think of and be creative on how you want to go animate. <laughs> they got some ideas here why you want to animate your video to um, have it more characteristic, right? <laughs> I've seen some um, presentations that look kind of cheesy, but it makes it fun. You know, it's a little different. People kind of stand out for some of these. So make your videos kind of more variety, you know, change it up, add some characters. It shows you what to do there. <laughs> That's lots of fun. All right, so this one's kind of the same way, extra normal. <laughs> this one has like more like animal characters and different types of characters as well. Um, so it takes you through, and I'm not even sure you can do this one for free to sample it out, because um, I just haven't tested it. I came across it, and I thought that was kind of weird. Um, so test it out. Um, 
you'd have, you'd have to log in to all these and create an account pretty much. Um, but it, it's fun to see the different ideas that comes from it. All right, the next one is another one I really haven't tested out, but I thought would look neat. Easy Vid. And this is a screen recorder and a video editor. It's very basic. Um, I'm not sure how well. Sometimes it only can only have it. It's limited to a certain amount of time or different types of files. And not sure if you can upload it to YouTube. So watch some of the different um, creation. You do have to download it. Um, so this one might be like a cheaper way before you use Camstasia or something. Something to test out um, when you're doing some screen shares because I'm using Camtasia right now. And I use that, um, you can find it on screencast.com. And Screencast is where you can upload. It's not a, um, a sharing site like YouTube. It's more private, I want to say. So I just share that link, screen, Screencast the link to um, a certain person that I want to share it with. So I use this a lot with my voice um, students um, when we want to upload and share all our homework so we don't have to let the world know what we, you know, practiced on, but a way to share files like that. So I definitely use this one a lot. Um, for the free one, you only have so much um, storage in there. So I go back and delete a lot of stuff, especially those bad practice you know, voiceovers that we want to use and, and stuff like that. So I use it mainly for my voice lessons and private videos for my team or something. Um, Jing is a different type of software. You'll get like this little capture image like I could do. This one is Snagit, this little, but this Jing, you get a little sun and it does pretty much the same thing. I'm liking Snagit a lot more than Jing. Seems like I was limited and, um, some computers I couldn't download it right or something I had something wrong with the file but I use Camtasia mainly all the time I really haven't in, in no experience with Moray or, or what that is so I'll just say Camtasia is the top one um, then Snagit and Jean Jing is the one I recommend and here for screen share I'm making videos and there we have it all those different ways how many was that um, one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and I kind of put these together, sixteen and seventeen, um, Camtasia, Jean, Snagit. So there are seventeen different ways to make videos online with so many creation tools. Oh, I do have one more. It's another download. Let me download some stuff. This one is another paid one. Where is it? Um, you have to get an affiliate link, I think, to get it. It was pretty cool. Hold on. Yeah, Video Maker FX. And this one um, you do have to pay to download it as well and you can create really kind of neat projects um, with slide shares, um, animation, um, different characters, business presentations, uh, full presentation, um, you know whiteboard, there's just lots of different types of themes in here as well and you can add different music and they have different types of slides you know that you can add your little character or what you want her to say on different ones so you can see the example there on um, what you can do for presentations so that's pretty cool and add it and make it customized on there just tons of stuff so that's video maker F awesome tools my friends and I hope that was helpful to you if you want some more cool tricks for some more video creation tools or what you can do to help you market your 
your site online through network marketing, brick and mortar business, doesn't matter. We're all using videos and sometimes we don't want to do it in front of our face, have our face in front of it. So we want to do lots of tools. Back to lots of fun. We'll see you in the next time, next video. Bye guys.